Hello, my name is Harry. I'm 16 years old and I have muscular dystrophy. I rely on my parents and carers to help me to do everything. It's always a struggle because you're seeing someone deteriorating or muscles deteriorating in front of you. Day by day there's something that gets weaker. We just take one day at a time and try to make the most of every day. That's all we want in life really is for him to be happy. Kai was born nine years ago and he had lack of oxygen at birth and that caused him brain damage which the long term effects is cerebral palsy, spastic quadriplegic which just means it affects his whole ability to move. He also has epilepsy and visual impairment. I do feel a lot of pressure because it is just me. I'm the one that cares for Kai on a daily basis. There's no other immediate family or anyone that knows him. So my fear is something happens to me, then who's gonna take care of my son? Kai wakes probably about every 20 to 40 minutes um, each night because he can't move, so he gets stuck in positions or he'll wake having a seizure. So my daughter will step in, she'll climb into bed with him and just lay with him until he falls to sleep. In my opinion, I think I'm being the best sister I can be. If I could change one thing, I'd change that I'd have more friends. Confidence is definitely something that I need to work on. When I don't always talk or I'm shy, it's because people think, because I'm in a wheelchair and I might not be able to understand what they're talking about and they sometimes think that I'm not very clever. I think I can be a good friend because I'm a very kind person. I always listen to people if they want to talk to me. Art makes me feel good because I can sort of express how I feel through my art. When Harry goes to Haven House, she's got somebody there who's usually good at art who really help him and encourage him to try different things, which I think makes him feel really good about yourself and boosts his confidence in some ways. Buddies is a group designed for the siblings of the children that come to Haven House and it's just a group to make you feel better, not so lonely in the world. I do one-to-one -one counselling with Babs for problems that I have with my brother. It allows me to not keep my worries stuck in my head. It feels like two weights have been lifted off my shoulders and I'm not having to carry around the worries anymore. Without doubt there's uh, amazing maturity in, in all the young people I work with. They are truly inspirational, it changes me in a certain way and teaches me so much. So it's a real privilege to be alongside the families and the young people at tough times. Having somewhere to come with people that know my son and my family nearly as well as I do, it's like a safety blanket sort of thing, it's like I can turn to them when I'm feeling down or when my daughter's feeling down and I'm struggling and I haven't got that other adult in your life to bounce ideas off of or turn to in the evening and say, it's been a crap day. So they're here. They're there, they've been a lot to me. Sorry. My mum, she's fearless, <laughs> pretty much. To me, she's the best mum in the world. She inspires me so much and oh my god, I love her so much. I try and say thank you. I'll do crazy challenges to raise money. It's all for a good cause and it's just kind of my way of dealing with the fact that my son is the way he is. I like to look at him and think he's cheeky and he's like a proper boy, daredevil. If he could do it, he'd be doing it, so I'm doing it for him. I never thought I'd be in a position where I'd have to use a hospice, a children's hospice, but I am and I'm here and without them I would be completely lost and not sure I would have coped.
even half as well as I have done. If any of you can give whatever you can to help families like mine and others in the boroughs, that would be amazing. Thank you.